Everything's getting way more dangerous and way more stupid. Moon of Alabama has an article out on how an uncomfortable number of relatively restraint-oriented foreign policy officials have been exiting the Biden administration, while a China hawk has been appointed the next chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Anti-War has an article out about how New York Congressman Jerry Nadler told an Epoch Epoch Times reporter that he wouldn't care if Ukraine used U.S.-made F-16s to strike Russian territory and doesn't find the possibility that they might do so concerning. This comes days after we learned that the Biden administration has signed off on Ukraine getting F-16s while also green-lighting an offensive on Crimea using U.S.-made weapons, a nightmare scenario which greatly escalates the risks of nuclear war. There are no adults behind the wheel of the vehicle that's driving us toward World War III. We're on a bus that's being driven straight off a cliff, and it's being driven by infants. If we survive this, it will not be because of the experienced leadership of Western governments, but completely in spite of it. It's getting more and more dangerous, and it's getting more and more stupid. The other day, the Ukrainian government tweeted a video in which the faces of characters from the Harry Potter film series are superimposed over Ukrainian soldiers, a perfect complement to an earlier tweet by NATO about the Ukrainian military saying, We are Harry Potter and William Wallace, the Na'vi and Han Solo. We're escaping from Shawshank and blowing up the Death Star. We are fighting with the Harkonnens and challenging Thanos. This truly is the phoniest, most PR-intensive proxy war of all time. And that's nothing compared to how stupid the 2024 U.S. presidential race is getting already in May of 2023. In a recent interview on Fox News, Republican presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis was asked by Trey Gowdy how he would respond to the war in Ukraine on day one of his presidency, and he started babbling about wokeness and gender ideology. Well, first, I think what we need to do as a veteran is recognize that our military has become politicized, said DeSantis. You talk about gender ideology, you talk about things like global warming, that they're somehow concerned, and that's not the military I served in. We need to return our military to focusing on commitment, focusing on the core values and the core mission. (laughs) Are you ready for a year and a half of this? Because you're getting a year and a half of this. A year and a half of all substantive questions about real policy of real consequence getting diverted into the most vapid culture war quagmires you can possibly examine, because it isn't the U.S. president's job to change the way the U.S. empire operates. It's the U.S. president's job to keep everyone dazzled with fake bullshit while the U.S. empire marches along unimpeded by the wishes of the voting public. Supporters of Israeli apartheid and America's proxy war in Ukraine have been pretending to believe that rock icon Roger Waters donned a Nazi costume in support of Nazism at a concert in Berlin earlier this month, their feigned outrage leading to an investigation by German police despite the fact that literally everyone knows he was just portraying the fascist character from Pink Floyd's The Wall that he's been performing for over four decades. Oh yeah. And they're continuing to aggressively normalize the use of police robots despite massive public opposition. Here's a tweet from LA Times saying, City Council votes to accept donation of controversial LAPD robot dog. This is a dark, strange timeline. And the more dangerous it gets, the dumber it gets. Still, there's no reason to give up hope. And there's no reason to give up joy. No matter how dark things get, there's always the possibility that there are forces moving beneath the surface of our collective psyche, which can change it all on a dime once conditions are ripe. No matter how dark things get, we're still living in a profoundly beautiful and fascinating world, which is a privilege and delight to participate in for even an instant. No matter how dark things get, we can still keep doing our best to try to make them a little bit better while making sure we don't waste any of our precious time in this universe failing to appreciate its awesomeness. There is darkness, but there's also light. Far more of it than most people realize. 
So do your worst, stupid dystopia. We'll fight with all we've got and enjoy the ride for as long as we're here.